It matters that you don't just give up. While there's life, there is hope. The electric pickup truck segment remains till this day relatively small and Tesla can't wait to grow their market shares, however after the company's electric pickup truck the cyber truck has seen lots of delays, but the anxious buyers, who have placed pre-orders, will soon rejoice as the cyber truck is finally happening. In this video we will show you the Tesla cyber truck is finally coming in 2023 and what you can expect. Pickup trucks are the workhorses of many households and small businesses they transport both humans and payloads efficiently and it is easy to see why they are very popular to cater to truck lovers that want to drive without causing pollution. Tesla has been working on the cyber truck since 2012, starting with their idea to build an electric pickup truck with load compensating suspension, making comparisons with a Ford F-250. In early 2014 Musk predicted four, five years before work could start on the product, which was first revealed as the Cybertruck in 2019. The truck quickly caught attention, due to its different and very futuristic look. Elon Musk did confess the SCI Fi look was intentional to break the boredom that he thought had set in in the market. You may or may not like the truck's looks, but that has not stopped it from gathering more than 1 million pre-orders according to unofficial sources. Apparently, these pre-order holders see something else in the truck, despite its huge size. The Cyber Truck is one of the fastest pickup trucks ever, with the highest trim capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. Using a tri-motor AWD setup, Tesla has lower trims using one or two electric motors, as well Tesla has added many updates to the new 2023 Cyber Truck, rendering it even better than what it showcased during the unveiling. We will start with what Tesla has retained in this new version of the Cyber Truck. The Cyber Truck is very special, and Musk says it is the best product ever made by Tesla. He is claiming the truck contains lots of new technolog that makes it complicated to make, but it's worth because the buyers will nevertheless enjoy that the Cyber Truck lasts up to 500 miles per charge, with a top speed of 130 miles per hour, thanks to Tesla's new 4680 battery. Two other lower range versions are available for budget conscious buyers. However whichever trim you bought, you will be able to use the power from the battery to power any electric tool, or even your home with the help of the vehicle to grid V2G technology, this will allow you to take the cyber truck camping and you are assured of a power source, even when you are off the grid. Tesla uses steel for the body the same 30x cold rolled stainless steel that Musk's other company SpaceX uses to make its Starship rocket. It increases the protection of the riders in the cabin, in the unfortunate case of an accident. But there is even more protection, as the windows are made from armored glass, which definitively won't break easily. Every material used on the cyber truck is chosen for the ultimate durability superior strength and endurance. In fact, Musk joked that the cyber truck is the best vehicle to have during an apocalypse, because it will give you the maximum protection the cyber truck offers adjustable suspension, which you can raise or lower by 4 inches. This is very useful, when the bed is too tall for access, or you are riding over uneven surfaces. The cyber truck also offers 100 cubic feet of storage space in the bed and frunk. On the bed is a magic tonneau cover strong enough to support your weight, if you decide to stand on it. The inside of the new cyber truck has seen some remarkable upgrades, but it will still seat six people comfortably. Remember the cyber truck is exclusively wide, there's a massive 17-17 inch touchscreen display at the center of the dashboard, where you can reach the settings and infotainment system. Well, remember we mentioned a tri-motor variant of the cyber truck. There is going to be an even more powerful one as Tesla is preparing a four-motor variant model. We can assume Tesla will slice off even more seconds from the 0 to 60 mph acceleration time. It is the first variant that Tesla will put into production and you can expect it to be more expensive than the previous top range. Not that the reviving R1T with four motors stood a chance beside the Cyber Truck but the Tesla truck also getting four motors is just nice to know and as a truck fit for adventure off the beaten path you can never tell when you will need the extra power. The extra motor may even mean upgrades to the payload capacity, with Tesla pegged at £3,500 and even the towing capacity currently about £14,000. There is an air compressor on board for when you want to make deal with the flat tire. The Cyber Truck offers features like autopilot, which gives the truck the ability to drive itself. Tesla has made some changes to the front of the truck, when you compare the original version showcase by Musk, with the new version, you will notice the trunk is now shorter and the edges of the front are somewhat less sharp. The reduced truck means even less space in the front trunk which was small already safe to say, there is no significant frunk on the cyber truck, compared to other Tesla vehicles or even competing pickup trucks. 
However, one noticeable difference is the addition of a windshield wiper. Musk has shared how frustrating the wiper had been to design. Thanks to the huge windscreen, the first version of the wiper was very unsightly, which knowing Musk's pension for sleek designs, simply wasn't going to cut it. Now Tesla has managed to slim down the wiper and make it appear to be retractable. It also looks like the wiper will be permanently placed on the right side of the truck. The wiper is still large, but it is easier to ignore it this size. Judging by the appearance of the windshield from the photos of the new Cyber truck, it seems likely that Tesla is adding an instrument cluster in front of the drive, this was missing on the original Cyber truck, just like the Model 3, but apparently Tesla is going for the Model S interior, which has a yoke for steering and instrument cluster. Musk said he personally is not a fan of the side mirrors, because the Cyber is equipped with lot of high-quality cameras, but regulations require side mirrors so Tesla is adding a couple. However, Musk has hinted that regulations require vehicles to come with side mirrors, but what drivers do with them is up to them he has suggested they would be removable by the owners that don't like them. Speaking of cameras, it is a given that any Tesla vehicle will be chock full of them. The Cyber truck is no different, but Tesla has made some changes to the appearance of the camera, previously they had a triangular shape, but are now circular, why Tesla would downgrade from the cool-looking camera, to something quite generic escapes us. And we feel this is very unfortunate. So apparently Tesla did not like the formerly conspicuous positioning one other change is found on the sides of the truck, there is no physical handle, so how will you get inside the Cyber truck, if there is no handles on the doors? Apparently with your phone. From the pictures obtained from the new cyber truck, you will likely have to put your phone close to the B-pillar to get access, or we think Tesla will import a thumb sensor from the upcoming Roadstar, which has been observed to have the tech from the side. We move to the back of the truck, where Tesla has made a rather significant change to the bet on earlier versions. The bed was made from steel the same as the rest of the truck, but the new cyber truck has a hard plastic material, we don't know the economics, but this might save Tesla a few bucks. It is also likely going to save some weight as well. This cyber truck has been teased to be featuring a pass-through system since it was unveiled but we are finally seeing evidence of the feature being added. Some eagle-eyed observer noticed this on the company's lot at Fremont, one of the cyber truck prototypes cited at the factory was missing several components, though the vehicle was moving on its own, it didn't have any doors nor did it have a hood, its tailgate also seemed to be absent. More importantly the vehicle didn't seem to be fitted with a rear wall, this suggested that Tesla may be finagling implementing the pass-through system for the cyber truck, which should allow owners to transport long items without having to drop the vehicle's tailgate. Photos taken of the Cybertruck's second row seats showed that the vehicle's rear bench might be designed to either flip up or fold down, this hinted that Tesla might be looking into optimizing the Cybertruck's available storage space, even beyond its hefty vault and frunk. Let's hear what you think about the new Cybertruck 2023 in the comments section below.